back in ETV. Hey guys, welcome to Balcony TV London. We're up here on the roof of the Bussy Building, and this is Iman with Wishing. Take it away. Standing in the middle, and baby, you are all that I want. I've been keeping it together, and I know, baby, it's all a front. And I've been wishing and wondering, wishing and wondering that someday we'll meet in the middle, and I'll be all that you want. I've been wishing, I've been wishing now. I've been wishing in my heart all for you. Been wishing, baby. I've been wishing, yeah. Been wishing in my heart all for you. Falling under pressure and it's deeper than I have ever known. And I am losing all measure and I have tried to control. But I'm still wishing and wondering, oh, 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 wishing and wondering that someday I'll meet in the middle and I'll be all oh, that you want. Cause I've been wishing, I've been wishing, no, oh, I've been wishing in my heart all for you. Been wishing, baby, I've been wishing, yeah. In my heart, all for you, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. I got a feeling that in time, yeah, baby. I got a feeling we'll be right. I keep you close, yeah, on my mind, yeah, baby. With you, I'm gonna get it right. I'll get it right. I'll get it right. I'll get it right. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Thank you very much. Such an amazing voice. How, how are you doing? It's not too cold, is it? Actually, I'm warm now. You are? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, this looks really warm, but then your arms might be really cold. No, no, I'm good. That kind of like really sufficed me. That's yeah. great. A lot of energy in it. So that was obviously keeping you warm. Thank you. So tell me about, about that song that's out now. Is that right? Yeah, that's out now. Um, it's available to stream on Apple Music, Spotify, and you can also buy it. Um, you can find it uh, via my website, imanmusic.co.uk. Great. There you go. Uh, tell me, when did you write it? I wrote it, I think, two years ago. Originally, right. it was a ballad. Um, oh, really? With a totally different chorus. Oh, really? But I didn't feel like it was just there yet. So I found a different producer, and we took it, and we made it more of like a UK house kind of yeah. vibe. Okay. So that's the first time I've actually performed it acoustic. Nice. Um, it's OK. So what? So usually it's like sort of UK housey, like housey, much more of a, a beat underneath it, I suppose. Yeah, the studio recording is very much like that. Right, OK. And is that is that the route that you're looking to go down? Is Or are you kind of chain, like doing a load of different stuff? Um, as an artist, I don't feel like I'm ever going to write the same song twice. Right. Um, and Which I, would be quite boring if you did write the same song twice. It's yeah. cheating, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I don't really see myself as, in ha as a house artist right. um, per se. Like, I love that type of music. 
but I think this song just suits that kind of vibe. Um, my song before it, Naive, was more ballady, had a massive attack kind of right. influence to it. And yeah. I hope that the vocal and my lyrical style kind of ties it all in together. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What, what, what influences you? Like, what did you grow up listening to? Um, Tracy Chapman, nice. Lauren Hill, okay. Eminem. Eminem, great. Dre. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Which surely you still listen to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're classics. They're timeless, right? Eminem's head headlining Reading Festival, I think. I've, I've never seen him live, but I would definitely lose my <laughs> if I did. <laughs> yeah. Lose your something. <laughs> he's headline. I think he's headlining Reading Festival. You should you should go and see him and lose your something. <laughs> yeah, I should. Right. I don't know why I haven't seen him yet. Um, so you've got uh, two other songs out, is that right, before this, Naive and what's the other one called? Golden, so you can check them out on um, YouTube and Spotify as well. And they've all, they all come with um, really, really well-produced videos. How much input did you have in the videos? Thank you. Um, for Naive, I directed it and co-edited it. Wow. Um, and for Golden, there was definitely a lot of influence um, on the way that I wanted it to come across. Um, moving forward, I love. I would love to be part of that a lot more, but I'm happy to, you know, take direction from a real director. It's an entirely different skill, isn't it? Because you're obviously very musically talented. So to be able to direct and co-edit a video, you're almost a multi-threat. <laughs> I think, like, you know, if you're an artist, it's not just about what happens in the studio. It's the yeah. whole vision. It's the whole, yeah. you know, movement of where you want your songs to go. And I think it takes time to develop that intuition and that vision and that confidence to say, okay, this is how I want it to look, you know, the images, the image and stuff. Yeah. So you, you obviously know exactly what you want and you feel to, you're going to be, to be able to convey it better than anyone else, I suppose. I hope so. Yeah. I'm still learning. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. So uh, you've, you've, you're writing, you've written for quite some quite big names in the past. Could you give us a list of a few of the people you've worked with? Yeah, some of the people I've worked with are Ed Sheeran, Rudimental, Wilkinson, and then I've done some stuff on um, with a guy called Mike Dean. Right. That's pretty big in the game. How, how does it feel when you find yourself working with people like that, like Ed Sheeran? How does that come about? Oh, he's cool. Like, no, no, it was cool. <laughs> it was like actually before he just got signed, um, he'd heard my music, I heard his. We were like, we've got to write together. We ended up writing two songs recorded one which is actually on youtube it's called only you right. um but i think like when you're writing with like really established at the time really established people like being in the studio with someone like mike dean yeah yes i was massively nervous but you've <laughs> just really got to just got to do it. Hold it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just be like, be professional. Yes, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, and be professional <laughs> at all times. So, how do you, if you write for people like that, um, how do you decide when you write something? Do you know that's for me or that's not for me, or do you go about saying I'm going to write this for someone in particular? Most of the time, I'm in the studio. I'm writing for myself. Right. And luckily. Um, some of the songs that I have written that I didn't want for myself, I didn't feel they were right for me. Luckily, right. they were found, they were adopted by someone else. Okay. It's not that they weren't good enough, you just didn't, they didn't fit what you were doing. Yeah, I just didn't feel like a resonance with them. Right. Um, I still saw them as really quite strong songs, but just for someone else. Yeah, okay. And so what have we got to look forward to? You're releasing a few more songs, is that right? Yeah, so throughout 2017, I'll be releasing a series of singles um, independently. Great. So wishing what I just performed now, you can check it on Spotify and it's out to download. Uh, the next song will probably come out summertime and then another one towards the end of the year. Okay. And um, I'm putting on a 15 date UK tour. Cool. <laughs> uh, this year, next year? No, this year. This so year. I just started. So uh, last week I was in Bristol performing. Nice. Um, so my next one will be um, 7th of March S 7th in of March. Soho, yeah. Okay, we're, we're, we're in we're end of March now. Yes, not no. That we're okay. not filming this live. No. <laughs> yeah, we're in the future, April. yes. April, what have you got coming up in April? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a show 8th and 9th of April and the 12th of April, yeah. and then you can check out the details, imanmusic.co.uk. Excellent. And is this is this the setup when you're in those shows, or is it bigger, more ba more people? or? Yeah, I have um, Scoop here that performs Scoop. guitar with me. Excellently, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> and and then Kohan and then I've also got a band set up which consists of myself, keys and electronic drums. Great. Well, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much for that performance. I really enjoyed it. Thank and you. good luck for all the songs that you're bringing out over the next year. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank you.
Thanks for watching Balcony TV London. Make sure you tune in next time. Balcony TV.